Hello SOLIDWORKS users, my name is Martin Hayes. I'm one of the application engineers here at Go Engineer, and in today's SOLIDWORKS 2020 deep dive video, we're going to take a look at the user interface features and enhancements this newest version of SOLIDWORKS brings to the table. First off, before we even get into the SOLIDWORKS model, you notice some nice changes brought to the SOLIDWORKS open file dialog. The drop down list for file types in both the open and save as dialogs has been widened and reorganized to give you a better view of the many file types SOLIDWORKS supports and make your selections easier. And as we select this assembly file, you also notice the new layout of loading options that allows you to move the slider to adjust the level of detail between the various open modes available. Be sure to watch our deep dive video about drawings in SOLIDWORKS 2020 to hear about the new detailing mode you'll be able to use for drafting. I'm going to open this assembly in lightweight mode. Many SOLIDWORKS users care about the ability to customize their interface so they're able to access commands quickly and discover new commands as needed. As we dig down into one of the components here, I want to show you the improvement SOLIDWORKS 2020 brings to the Command Manager and these customization options. The controls for the Command Manager tabs and classic toolbars have been combined together in a reorganized customize menu. It's really easy to find because you can right click anywhere on the Command Manager or the tabs themselves. Tooltips in the Command Manager have been improved as well. This is great for newer or more casual users. Detailed descriptions of different types of features are now included, and SOLIDWORKS has begun to add nice video animations that illustrate the different usage of these features. Folders are a great way to organize your features in the design tree and keep a clean model history, and in the past, items had to be moved into folders individually. But with SOLIDWORKS 2020, we have the capability to move multiple contiguous items into a folder with a simple multi-select. Search capabilities throughout the software are great for users to save time searching commands or options or online resources. Now you'll be able to easily search the material database as well as you assign a material to a component, avoiding the need to dig through the hierarchy in the database. And I've got one more bonus feature to highlight in the SOLIDWORKS 2020 user interface. If you work in a multilingual environment, you might have noticed that SOLIDWORKS feature names actually keep the language that they were created in. Now there's an option to display translated names of standard features and the tooltips that appear as you hover over the features in the tree. Simply enable this option on the right-click menu of the top level of the part, choose the language you'll need the feature translated into. Thanks for joining us as we explore SOLIDWORKS 2020 in this deep dive video series. This has been Martin Hayes with Go Engineer. Make sure to check out the other videos to get the most out of your upgrade. And until next time, keep on modeling.